everyone welcome back to my channel how are you today our most essential learning competency in this session is draw conclusion about the population proportion how can we draw conclusion about the population proportion let's do it in drawing conclusion there are two different approaches that you may apply the critical z approach or the computed z value and the p value approach so I will be using here, of course, the critical Z approach since we are already familiar with the Z table and the Z distribution. Now, critical value approach uses the following basic procedures. So number one, formulate the null and the alternative hypothesis. Number two, identify the level of significance alpha. Number three, compute for the test statistic value using the Z com or C sub com critical value, including of course the rejection region, and D decide whether to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So when we say fail to reject the null hypothesis, meaning we accept the null hypothesis. Note conclusions are answers in sentence form, which include whether there is enough evidence or not based on the decision, the level of significance, and whether the original claim is supported or rejected. When we say supported, it is based on the original claim, which may be the null or alternative hypothesis. The decisions are always based on the null hypothesis. Take note of that. Decisions are based always on the null hypothesis. Now, example number one. Suppose a study found that 68% of the population owns a home. In a random sample of 150 households, 92 own a home. Use alpha 0.01 to determine that there is a decrease in the proportion of population that owns a home. So let us follow this procedure. So we have A, formulate the null and the alternative. Our null here will be P is equal to 0 0.68. In words, we can say that the proportion of population who owns a home is 68%. Okay, so our alternative hypothesis would be, it says here, there is a decrease in the population proportion. So P is less than 0 0.68. So how can we say this in words? The proportion of population who owns A home is less than 68%. Let's now go to letter B. So we have identified the level of significance. So we have alpha is equal to 0 0.01. And then letter Z, you have to compute for the test statistic value or the Z sub comb. That is x over n or the sample proportion minus the population proportion multiplied by the square root of n divided by, of course, the square root of p quantity 1 minus p. Okay, so we have our x here is 92 divided by 150. That's our n minus we have 0 0.68 times square root of, of course, 150 divided by square root of 0 0.68 times 1 minus 0 0.68. You press this using, of course, your scientific calculator. 92 divided by 150 equals minus 0 0.68 equals times square root of 150 equals. Divided by square root, open parenthesis, 0.68, open parenthesis again, 1 minus 0.68, 
close close equals and you will be getting there z the computed z value or the critical value is negative 1.751 Let's go now to letter D. Since our computed Z value or the critical value is negative 1.751, we have to compare it with, of course, the one tailed, the left tailed rather, at 0 0.01 level. And you will be getting here the critical value is. The critical value is, of course, negative 2.327. 2.327. Okay. So, you'll ha you have to look for one tailed and then 0 0.01 at your Z table and you will be getting there negative 2.327. So, how are we going to formulate, of course, our decision here? Our decision would be, this is our curve. This one is 2.327 and this one is negative 2.327 less than. So, meaning to say it's here. Okay. Now, so if you will look at this, this one is negative 2.327 and this one falls where? In the acceptance region. So therefore, what will be our decision then? So we can say that since our Z comb or the computed value of Z is negative 1.751, which falls in the region of acceptance therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis so what will be our conclusion then at 0 0.01 level of significance there is insufficient evidence to the claim that the proportion of the population who owns a home is less than 68%. Example number two. In a public senior high school, a survey conducted last year by a health officer showed that 12% of the students drink alcohol. This year, a new survey was conducted randomly on 500 students from the same school. It was found that 97 of them drink alcohol. Test if the claim was higher at alpha 0.01 level. So number one. Formulate the null and, of course, the alternative. So, we have the null. P is equal to, of course, 0 0.12 or 12%. 12 and our alternative would be, what is our alternative? Our alternative hypothesis is higher. So, P is greater than 0 0.12. How do you say this in words? The proportion of students who drink alcohol is 12%. This one, alternative, the proportion of students who drink alcohol is greater than 12%. Okay, so that is letter A and our letter B will be level of significance alpha is 0 0.01. And then let us compute now for the Z com or computed value of Z. So this is equal to X over N minus P. 
square root of n divided by square root of p1 minus p. Okay, let's substitute. So our x here is, of course, how many? 97. 97 over 500 minus 0 0.12 square root of 500 divided by square root of this one is 0 0.12 times 1 minus 0 0.12. Okay, so you will be getting here, you will be getting here. 5.09. Now go to letter D. What will be our decision, of course? So our computed value is 5.092. We use here the one tailed or right tailed. You look for, of course, the Z table. You will be getting there positive 2.0. 327 and that is at 0 0.0111 now if we'll try to draw it this one is 2.327 and this one is negative 2.327 okay that's our normal curve so where does this one fall? This one falls in the rejection region. This one is the rejection region. And 5.02 is here. It falls in the rejection region. Therefore, we reject, of course, the null hypothesis. So, since our computed value is 5.02 and it falls in the rejection region, at 0 0.01 level, therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. So, what will be our conclusion then? Our conclusion will be, therefore, we conclude that at 0 0.01 level, of significance there is we will be using here sufficient this time since we reject sufficient evidence to claim that of course you state here the original claim which is that the proportion of students in a public school senior high school who drink alcohol is higher or more than than is higher by how many percent? 12 percent.